<laughs> Hello, hi, mabuhay! It's your Filipina diva, Marina Summers, and I'm back from the dead! Ang masyad na masaya, baka kunin ni Lord. And welcome to the stopover. The unofficial, unauthorized, but ultimately still unbothered recap show of Drag Race Philippines. Don't wanna hold Hello world, I know you missed the beauty, the gorgeous, the face, the body, the skin. And I am back, officially. <laughs> and this week we are going to be reviewing episode 5 of Drag Race Philippines season 2. So we invited someone who did not make it past episode 2. <laughs> This bitch needs no introduction. Oi, intro mo po tayo na mo. Ay, meron sa ano? Meron sa palakon. Ano sa sabi sabi mo tungkol sa akin? Umabot ako ng finale. Please welcome from Drag Race Philippines season one, episode one. It's Prince. Hello. That's you. The iconic, <laughs> the forever referenced. How does it feel to be back here? It feels good. Because it's only the airtime of season one, eh. so uh, yeah, it's it's nice to see a lot of cameras in front of me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm good. I am back, alive and kicking. <laughs> no, I'm oh, not Oh, subtle. Subtle. But we're not gonna subtle with the, our comments. <laughs> yes. We're gonna go deep mm -hmm. this time around. I love it deep. How have you been since our season? We've been seeing you everywhere. Yeah, I've been very busy, mm -hmm. booked and blessed, mm -hmm. and unbothered. Mm -hmm. If you can get all the money after <laughs> your season, why not? True. Oh, True. And I Give heard up. you're flying somewhere after this. I need to. Search my soul and have a moment and to uh, no, get new inspiration, right? So, in other words, Prince is <laughs> going back to being straight. Actually, na dare lang talaga ako magdrag. Na dare lang talaga magdrag. Ano nang to narula rula to tul? True, di ba? Sa akin kasi to mapat yung bote. Okay, so we're halfway through the competition right now. How have you been enjoying the season? I'm enjoying the season because I'm done drama. I know, right? I was also on the set doing Jiggly's makeup, so uh -huh. I pretty much know everything. Oh. But it's nice to see finally na parang it's already you know edited, edited. and tahi tahi na siya. Mm -hmm. So with the confessionals, so yeah. yeah, it's good to see na parang ganun pala. Mm -mm. I mean, I insights for the girls. Okay. Some of them are shady during the confessionals. Girls, sa... some? I mean, all of them are shady. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's a shady ladies' season. I love it. Are you rooting for anyone this uh, season, or do you want to uproot someone from the competition? Okay, I'm gonna focus on my bets. Mm -hmm. So, I, so I'm gonna root for my sisters, Ovi Kant and Miss Jade. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and also I really love Hannah Beshi. Yeah, and Arizona. And Bernie. Balikan natin ng kaunte yung episode last week. Episode four was the snatch game. Do you remember anything from the snatch game? I remember. I don't like the results. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember. Oh. Do you have any highlights? Sorry, you have bad memories about last week. <laughs> Kasi wala ka, so I'm not fully oh. there. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, sis. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> it was so so last mm -hmm. week's episode. What do you think about? What were your highlights? Na lang. Highlights. I really loved the chemistry ni Arizona and Hannah Beshi during mm -hmm. the snatch game. I also liked OVs. In fairness, na tawo naman ako kay Katka. But yeah, yeah. I must say, last week's snatch game was a little bit underwhelming. I was expecting a little bit more from the girls True. this season because their energies are just like off the roof, and the 
They're very shady. They're very funny. And it, it doesn't just match. Did, it, it didn't translate in the Snatch game. Mm -hmm. None of the girls We're successfully delivered. delivered a very strong Snatch game performance. So said, about the, the looks. About the looks from last week. Do you remember any specific look? I um, gusto ko talaga yung kay Jade. Mm -hmm. Sa kay Owi. Mm -hmm. For me, those two are the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yung umales. I think deserved naman with that look and that performance in the snatch. Mm -hmm. So I think it's safe to say that the girls did pretty fair performance on the snatch game on the runway last week. So right now we are witnessing the first ever three-way lip sync in Drag Race Philippines history. What do you think of that? I think deserved naman nila mag lip sync all together mm -hmm. based on the performance. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think also with the, with the lip sync, it's pretty um, obvious that who's going home. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it was well deserved. Yeah. I don't think that the three way lip sync is it's necessary. necessary. Um, it was a random decision. From the judges and the production, I don't mm -hmm. understand why it happened. Could I have think been just two. And could if have been just two, si, no? it's Verushka Levels and uh, who's the other girl? Not Didi. Matilda? Matilda, yes. No, I think it deserves to be Didi to be in the. Mm. <laughs> I wanna see it. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's necessary the three way. Lip sync was necessary. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily that bad. I mean, they were all bad, but not entirely bad to, to be put moment. into uh -huh. a three way lip sync. So that was very random. Mm -hmm. Verushka says goodbye to the girls and the rest of the crew after she got eliminated in the three way lip sync of the Snatch Game. What can you say about that? Mm -hmm. Kasi Did she put something in her. Ah, oh, sa so lip sync niya, naglagay kasi nag eyeliner siya, parang ano, itaas ang kilay, so nagtiyataas yung kilay niya. So, naglagay din siya ng eyeliner sa bibig, so parang, <laughs> parang siyang kina, parang niya kinain si Jade, so, parang dinuguan. Yung dinuguan, o, parang siya nagdinuguan. True. So, young naman, dear. Uh -huh. Pero yeah, nakakatawa nung pagbalik niya sa work ko, I mean, pagbalik ng girl sa work ko. Mm -hmm. Puma pa lang pa ko yung girl. Oh, <laughs> so, as the episode 5 starts, at this point, the girls so the are is... rejoicing True. that Verushka is gone. Oh my God. I mean, you must have been that, bad. that bad. Or like, uh, just really annoyed the <laughs> fuck out of the girls. Naganon yung reaction nila when you left. True. Sadly, it was Verushka's time to go. And it's time for another episode of Drag Race Philippines Season 2. This week, the girls are challenged to do one of the best things in the entire Drag Race Philippines mm -hmm. franchise history. A challenge that has been written amongst the stars. The trip to Jerusalem! Asa yung trip to Jerusalem? Gusto ko ng ganun mga mini-challenge, yung gaguhan lang. Oo, gusto pa ganyan yung mga mini-challenge, hindi yung hina-harness-harness pa. Oo nga, di naman ka makakot si Alice ano doon. Ang dahil na dahil na. Sino ka mukha mo doon? Heidelin Diaz. Heidelin Diaz. O, di ba? World champion. Oo nga, dapat ganyan yung mga mini. Alam kong ganyan siguro yung pinagawa sa atin noon. Oo, oo. Di ba? Manalo ko dyan, laki ng balakang ko. Oo, ngayon ako matatalo ako, if ever, pag nagkataon. At least yung harness, kasi madali akong mabawalan babalentong ganyan eh. True. Okay, moving on. Now the top eight get into their quick Sexy, sexy drag queen mm -hmm. drag. Para lang maglaro ng trip to Jerusalem. Upuan mo ba? Hindi. Magpapaupo. Magpapaupo. Ah! <laughs> so, kanino ka pinaka nag expect sa, sa challenge na to? Siyempre, knowing Matilda na mini challenge layer, ina-expect ka talagang lalaban sa Matilda. Yeah, I was expecting something from Matilda as well kasi diba she's been slaying all the mini challenges. Mm -hmm. um, Nakatatlo na siya. She has uh -huh. three wins under her belt. So, I was expecting that this time, ay makukuha niya na naman yung, yung challenge win. But, unfortunately, she was the first one to be booted out. At nagdiwang ulit sila. At nagdiwang <laughs> silang lahat. Grabe sila. Lahat sila ay nagdiwang. <laughs> <Mga palakpak. laughs> yes. After a few girls are out, 
of the minute challenge biglang pumasok ang uh, pit crew at sila ang nagsilbing upuan sa ating mas nakaka-motivate mm, maglaro nakaka-motivate diba <laughs> parang gusto ko talagang italon tapos i ganun no ano pa ni ganun ah ano ay ano recoil ah <laughs> Kumusta ba ni Kat Kat parang niiyakap ko talaga siya para maramdaman ko yung ano. <laughs> Sabi ko, ah, naglalaro pa ba tayo? Ano ba? Nag-aanuhan na lang tayo. Nag-aanuhan na lang. Nag-aanuhan na lang. Well, gets naman kasi parang, girl, kayo kayo lang din yung kikita-kita. So pag may extra piece of meat ka nakikita, parang, <laughs> uh-uh. I want that. Pero to be fair naman, our, as time goes by, talaga nagiging friends mo talaga yung... I'm not sure sa iyo ha kasi hindi ka naman masyado. Okay lang friends na tayo doon. <laughs> nagigiging as this season goes by, talaga nagiging friends mo talaga yung Ibang pit crew. So Sabi nawawala ko. talaga yung libog mo sa kanila as na ano, as Mm-mm. the time goes by. True. 'Di ba? Kasi marerealize mo mo sa malalaki pa pala yung sa mga bakla kaya sa, sa mga pit crew. Eh. So, wag na la. Oo, oh, minsan staff toy lang. Hmm, sabi Chari! nga, <laughs> sabi nga na Matilda, wag na, na lang kaya. kaya. <laughs> <laughs> But then, at the end of the mini challenge, bukod sa pagkabaldog <laughs> ni Kat Kat, she won 20,000 pesos for winning the upuan mo ako. Nakatawa. J- trip to Jerusalem. Kaya sabi ni Hannah Beshi, Okay na yan, pang city scan mo na yan. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, Mama Pa revealed that they will be doing the Rusical this week entitled Sirena the Rusical, where they have to act, dance, lip sync, <laughs> and perform live in front of the judges, in front of the world. Are you excited for a musical? Do you love a musical? I love the Rus- I love musical in general. Mm-hmm. So I said it's a musical ito kasi it's a classic musical. Yeah. Ah. Unlike last season parang solo moments lang. Correct. Diba? Parang as a parang yeah. as a prod yung di last. Siya, di siya musical musical. Yeah. So, so this, time around, this time around merong storyline, merong na- lahat ng lines are sung. So it really gives you the feel of a musical. Mm-hmm. So I'm really really excited and uh, another um, reference to myself. <laughs> and Grabe and Drag Race Philippines, they are not afraid to really reference <laughs> from the promo to the musical. <laughs> I mean, actually kaya pala ano din, red hair ka today. Diba kaya ka nag red hair today kasi oh. ano ko ngayon? It's giving Ariel. Cut <laughs> 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 Cut has the advantage to get first dibs on the character that she <laughs> wants for the musical. If mm. you were in Cut Cat's shoes, which character would oh. you pick? Ako after seeing the musical, gusto ko yung role ni Princess Erica. Princess Erica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, kung hindi man ako yung bida, ayoko nung bida eh, ayoko nung sequence. Kung na, nung napat gawin musical, may rap part, merong, may mm-hmm. floor choreography, ayoko nung mm-hmm. floor choreography. Mm-hmm. So, I wouldn't do that. So, I yeah. really like Princess, Ere- Princess Erica kasi may solo moment siya. Correct. Well, uh, di ko naman bina, ano, mm-hmm. for me, na-expect ko naman na pipidiin siya ni Kat Kat. Knowing Kat Kat na pabida, mm-hmm. <laughs> talagang pipidiin niya yung bida. Correct. And everyone Her. else had to fight for the True. role that they want. And, Mostly, most of the girls got what they wanted. Ovi got Labas Chan. Yes. Or the crab. Hannah got Queen Tritona. Mm-hmm. Matilda Lagi got Catriona. Yes. Arizona got Pia. Kat Kat got Serena. Didi got Tia Pusit. But initially, Arizona also wanted that role. I mean, that's... Everybody wants the... Best the, role, yeah. right? Everyone wants Kahit the big role. Yeah. But yeah, I think that is a very strong role as well. That's why Merja Meron Kanting rip off between the two girls. Yeah, but also, I also like uh, Didi's <clears throat> initiative to like talk it out to Arizona. Because knowing her placements from the past. The moment she pulled Arizona to the side and she said, Okay, let's talk it out. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. Didi's gonna get this. Yeah. She's gonna get this. That's how you fucking play the game. Yeah. 
That's how you play the game. Of mm -hmm. I want this role. If I were Arizona, I'm gonna be like, nope. True. No need to talk about it. Let's audition for she the piece. She could have been firm with the decision that she wanted right? to, right? And they didn't have to do that in private. Because Didi doesn't want the girls to hear what she has to say. Mm -hmm. And that's a safe route when you are trying to make your way into the competition. Well. Yeah. Mama, I know a stunt when I see one. <laughs> Well, it worked for her. It worked so. for her, so <laughs> bro, bro, She got the role. <laughs> and Arizona got Pia. Yeah. Uh, Medyo, ano yung characters nila? Like, parang Mema. Mema talaga, girl. Pia na lawyer na something. Huh? Tapos ah. si Catriona biglang doctor. Parang, mm -mm. bakit? Bakit? <laughs> Medyo naguluhan lang ako na. <laughs> Medyo naguluhan lang ako na. It's no? really a filler character. Uh-oh. Uh -uh. Jade initially wanted Tampal Puke. But Bernie is also very firm about that. her feelings towards the Tampal Puke role. What do you think of that moment? I think mas bagay kay Jade, because I personally know Jade. So mm -hmm. parang that kind of character is something that we haven't seen with Jade. Mm -hmm. So it's a good moment sana yun if she got the role. Mm -hmm. But then also for Bernie, I think she did okay with the role. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go there later, later on. <laughs> um, okay. I honestly. But nakakatawa yung nag audition sila. Yes, nag audition sila. <laughs> and they had to vote. The girls had to vote. Oh, and wrong. at the end of the voting, <laughs> si Ovi sa kasi Kat Kat. Ovi and Kat Kat had the final say. And Bernie got the role. And Jade was like, she was not happy. <laughs> She was not she happy. After that, when she was wearing her glasses, I know she, she cried yeah. a bit, for sure. She was like, these bitches are trying to get mm -hmm. rid of me. I so know. that's what happened <laughs> in the selection of the characters. I know character selections are a little bit bumpy, especially yeah. when you're in a competition setting. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope the girls still deliver, because it's still a fucking show. Yeah. So. Well, during the rehearsals, I am very happy for the girls because they didn't have to go through the pain <laughs> of dancing and getting choreography in front of Tito Douglas Nieras. Can't relate. Can't relate. Right? <laughs> but thank God you can't relate. Yeah. Uh, I, heard, I heard it was. Yeah, because in our rusical. Ah, alam mo ba ng rusical? Hindi ko lang kung pwede kung alawda kung sabihin to, pero ng rusical. No, sabi ng Tito Douglas, oh, mag-start ka dun sa, ano, sa dulo. O, oh, tas magsayaw ka. Tas yun na yun. Hindi ko sayaw. Alam niya na magaling ka sumayaw. Eh, That's the thing. Eh, pinagsayaw lang ako. Buti na lang magaling ako. <laughs> kaya mo na yan mag-isasabi niya. O niya, kaya mo na yan. Bulag na yan. <laughs> sabi, sabi ni Tito Douglas. Okay na yan. Um, Pagod so na this, ako sa inyo. <laughs> this season, they have Cecil Martinez, who happens to be the choreographer for The Little Mermaid. Some girls are struggling. Some girls are getting the hang of it. At this moment, sa tingin mo sino yung mag-excel, sino yung hindi masyado, sino yung naguguluhan, sino sa anong nangyayari? Ano expect ko si Matilda mag-deliver kasi no, na magaling siyang dancer. Mm -hmm. Um but in expect ko na rin si Jade na mag-struggle siya kasi talagang medyo mahina si, si Jade in terms of like catching choreography. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a little bit different. surprised with Kat Kat's performance yeah. during the rehearsals kasi ang gaslaw ng uh -oh. Ng galaw niya. So, I'm not sure how that For a veteran ng drag queen. Yeah. Who does, you know, showgirl talaga. So, no I'm really concerned for her at this moment. Mm -mm. And then, uh, right now, after the rehearsals, the girls are now preparing for the main show. Yes. For the runway. And mm -hmm. for the main challenge that is Sirena the Rusical. And at this moment, meron ding mga very sensitive very delicate mm. topics that are discussed while they were preparing. Very notable dito yung moment with um, Ovi and uh, Arizona. Arizona, where they talked about religion, how religion played in in their lives, mm -hmm. in a way. Um, yung kay Arizona, very heartbreaking. It's just sad na parang, syempre, 
yung tao na yun, relative mo yun, tapos parang super close mo, kapatid mo. Mm-hmm. So, it must hurt a lot. Yeah. Knowing that it's someone really close to you yeah. growing up. Yeah, I can Girl. only imagine uh, how hard it is for Arizona Brandy. Kasi for her, she felt like she was really betrayed. Yeah. Kasi ang promise sa kanya, labas tayo, akala niya magbabonding sila ng kapatid niya, but... It's a pray over. It, it was a pray over, and it was very unfortunate. Yeah. I'm sure hindi rin siya makareact na maayos <clears throat> during that moment because, yeah. you know, it's her um, Arizona sister. Mm-hmm. I just can't imagine it. Nung pinapanood ko yun, parang naloko rin ako. Yeah. And then comes OV na biglang may relative siya sabihin sa namatay ka sa AIDS. My Girl, God. I, kahit ako hindi ko alam yun, knowing how close yeah. I, uh, I was with OV, never niya nasabi sa akin. Yeah. So parang it was shocking. And on the runway tonight, I think by far it's my favorite category. Of course. Category is the CU. The shoes is being the Iconic CUs. It's me. I. I'm the category. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I have ah, the shoes with me. And the CUs. Oh. Nandito ang the CUs. You know, just that's right. Diba? Yes. Patingin. Yeah. Nag-world tour na yan. Nag-world tour na yan. <laughs> Nakapag-UK, nakapag-LA, nakapag-New York. True. Oh, hawakan mo, siyempre. Ah, hawakan to all throughout. Ayan, so. oh. Pero, And a lot of people have been asking, asa niyo isang pair? Nung, asa niyo... Binigay ko sa'yo, uh, hindi ko alam kung nasan sa... Pabaya, burara talaga ito. Eh. Hoy, grabe ka. Nasa akin pa yung <laughs> The Seus. Nasaan? Size four white gamusa. <laughs> oh, Ay! diba? Ang tali. Oh my God. <laughs> Sabi sa eh. iyo eh. Inalagaan ko din to siyempre. Sure. Talagang, oh, oh diba? Ang sulat ko pa. Nung natanggal ako. Ang the seus. <laughs> Andito pa yung mga sulat niya, oh. Kasi diba, if hindi niyo alam, nung natanggal si Prince nung drag race. <laughs> Umiyak. <laughs> Umiyak! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nanatanggal ako. Akala mo, nakakatuwa yung istorya mo. <laughs> oh. Ano to? Uh, iniwanan niya sa ano ko to? Sa, sa station. Yeah. And parang ito yung naging lucky charm ko. Nung, lucky ba? Natalo ka nga. Hindi, <laughs> 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 you know, feeling ko nga, magkawala sa akin nun, hindi ako abot din top two eh. Ah, true. So, in a sense, ano na rin siya, lucky charm. Sabi true. niya, consider this As your lucky my charm. apology. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Consider this your lucky charm. Love you, Marina. Win it. Oh, tapos apat na heart. Kaya top four lang. <laughs> Totoo ba? Oh, oh, apat lang yung heart. Oo nga. Dapat. Four star lang. Four, four heart star. Hindi ako na five is star. <laughs> oh, oh. Dapat sa, isang heart lang. So. Ito pa rin siya sa akin. Na, na, naka safe keep pa rin siya. Yung ano. Lagi mo na rin ang paa. <clears throat> ano yung lagi kong paa? Normal na pa ah. Okay, now it's time to critique both okay. the musical performance and the runway performance of our lovely top eight mm-hmm. for Serena the Rusical and the Zeus runway. First up, we have Miss Jade. So, what do we think of her Rusical performance and her runway performance? Um, so musical performance, I think it's the same thing during the rehearsals. Parang it's not matching with the music. But mm-hmm. I think bumawi naman siya sa runway. For me, I really like the runway. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a full concept. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that it's buo as, mm-hmm. a, as a whole. But yeah, parang kritik sa kanya sa shoes, di ba? Parang it's just, it's not the highlight of the look. Yes. I mean, sh- ayun pala yung brief na parang. Mm-hmm. Shoes should be the highlight. Highlight of the... But yeah, I love it. I think the performance in the Rusica was very weak. Mm-hmm. Um, she could have done a lot more with the grandiosity of the character yeah. that is Prince. Mm-hmm. I think she could have used a cape or something to make it look like she's the biggest drag queen mm-hmm. in the island. Given na uh, isa lang yung spot niya sa Rusical, she could have taken, she could that, have moment. taken that moment and just really went with it. Um, but it was the opposite for her. I think mm-hmm. she just faded into the background, literally. And the runway look, um, It's a good look. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't fit the brief. Yeah. It doesn't fit the shoe category. 
it doesn't speak the, the shoes. shoes. Yes. You know. So yeah. missed opportunity um, to really go in and all out with the shoes. Cause as far as I remember, uh, the character that she's referencing to is him. Him from the Powerpuff uh, Girls. From the Powerpuff Girls. And the yung shoes ni him talagang pointed. pointed. Na parang, it's like ballerina pointed. Yes, <laughs> parang ballerina armadillo shoes. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Like armadillo na lang siya. So yeah, I think it's a missed opportunity to really convey the character. Ang ganda siguro ko armadillo silhouette yun tapos crab legs din, Right? No? Yeah, so I missed opportunity. Sayang. Missed opportunity for Miss Jade. So yeah. next up we have Bernie. What do we think of her um, performance in the Rusical and her runway look? Um, so Rusical with Bernie. <clears throat> Medyo ano rin yung character niya eh. I mean, it's just the same as... Ano, it's a filler character. Yeah. And I feel like it's too cute for Bernie mm -hmm. to do. Um, but overall, it was, it was a safe performance. Yes. Yeah. And then sa runway naman, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the runway look. Para kasi siya nakadumaan na sa garden, tapos may mga sumabi sa sapatos niya. Oh, <laughs> Alam mo yung mga tumutusok na mga orchid uh -huh. or orchid, gano'n. Parang gano'n, napadaan siya. So, ay, okay. ang dami na pala. Sabi gano'n. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, her performance in the Rusical, although she gave it her all, there's something about that character that doesn't really do anything for me. Mm. I mean, you can just... Tanggalin mo yung tampal puke, tanggalin mo yung role ni Bernie, and it would still... Yeah look like a rusical. Yeah. You know what like I mean? Coco exists lang talaga yung yes. role. Yeah. Her look in the rusical was giving grade school presentation. theater presentation. <laughs> but uh, that outfit was not made by them. Naman. But she could wear shoes. Oh, yes. And not yeah. wear socks. Yeah. Right? She could have just altered it. Wear a different hair, because that hair has nothing to do with, with that, that look. Okay. And the performance was, I don't know, it's, it's, I forgot mm -mm. Bernie and that musical. She faded. Yeah, she faded into the background. The look, oh, it, it's not easy to look at. The look. There's a lot of things going on. The concept is clear. But the execution was not it. The amount of volume at the back just takes it, looks, it, it away. Makes it, like it, it makes it heavy, makes it look like she's having a hard time walking down the runway. The bodysuit was very ill fitting. The hair was. There. There. <laughs> but I love the makeup though. It's, it's my first time to see Bernie in an editorial look. So I love the makeup. It's editorial for you? For Bernie. I mean, it's something new from her. Up next is Arizona Brandy. Another so so character. Yeah. Walang masyadong ganap. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. I love that she stick to the, ano, the, the, the brief na parang she was a strict lawyer. So talagang, lagi siyang on character. You know what? I don't get it. Like I don't get it though. Why bakit would... Lawyer? <laughs> bakit lawyer yung serena Wala siyang sense of storyline ng musical in general. It could have been... It's a long line of beauty pageant um, sirenas, mermaids. Yeah. mermaids, and it just could have ended there. Yeah. You know, Caspia and Catriona are both iconic already. Yeah. And they didn't have to put the the, 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 the costume. abogado costume the and the doctor costume. Like, that was very unnecessary. Mm -hmm. The runway. <clears throat> I like the concept, na parang Cinderella going to a the basketball. Concept? She's a princess. Parang this Cinderella going to a basketball. Kaya siya may ball. Tapos parang sneaker yung heels niya. But she's wearing a dress. But the thing is, she has to hold the dress. Just exactly. to show the shoes. Exactly. Sana may cut na lang na open very Dior na open yung harap, malaki sa likod. Yep. Or so she, she could have, have just do... chosen a different concept. Yeah. And not overcomplicate things. Uh, the Rusical performance, I feel the same way as Bernie. You can strip off that character and the Rusical would still survive without her. Yeah. Um, so, dapat episode 8 ginawa the oh, Rusical. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, there were so many unnecessary characters mm -hmm. um, that were... I mean, I feel like there's a vital role yung role ni uh, 
Pia and Catrio na if it were built up, uh -oh. na Sana it's better. Moment pa sila. Sana may moment pa. Bakit sila magkakapatid? Bakit sila ano doktor? Bakit lawyer? Nila? Bakit doktor? Bakit lawyer? Kinaiingitan ba sila ni Serena? Or, alam wala. mo yun, parang wala eh. It's walang sustansya yeah. yung characters that were given to them. And it's not their fault. Yeah. Someone in that writing room <laughs> has to pay for this monstrosity. <laughs> Runway-wise, I don't see the shoes at all until you pull that dress up. It's called the shoes, not the dress. Yeah, I don't understand the, the basketball thing. I mean, there were a lot of thoughts that were yeah. put into the dress, into the look, but ultimately, it doesn't translate cohesively. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a Cinderella concept, there's a varsity concept, Nick. and you also <laughs> have to show the shoes. And yeah, there were a lot of ingredients that didn't go well. Oh, if it nice. was a uh, glass sneakers, yeah. it would have been. Sana. Diba? Yeah. Kasi parang mas mag make sense siya for a Cinderella concert. Right? It's like this. The dots are not connected. <laughs> <laughs> Four picks, one word. Four picks, one word. <laughs> Next, we have D.D. Marie Holiday. What do we think of her musical performance and her runway look? I think she's the best out of all sa Rusika. Okay. Not the runway girl. <laughs> Yeah, parang sa kanya nagagaling yung voice eh. Yeah! Diba? So it doesn't look like a lip sync, parang siya yung character. Mm -hmm. And pati yung movements niya, talagang theater. Mm -hmm. I love it! Musical-wise, Didi really um, rose to the top. Mm -hmm. uh, pagdating naman sa runway, I don't know, fast fashion. I mean, it's giving Santi Ali, Ali Express bodysuit. Um, the shoes doesn't match. Sana black na lang sana yung boots. I agree. And the musical, I think, Didi was the star of that musical. Yeah. Um, great choice of character. Mm -hmm. Great presentation. Talk about not looking like she's lip syncing. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see when I watch musicals or like musicals or lip syncs in, or general. Lip -syncs in general, diba? Mm -hmm. But on the runway look, I feel like it was rough. The cape doesn't match the bodysuit. The bodysuit doesn't match the shoes. And your hair, I think it's Hannah Beshi's hair. Yeah, and the, the hair promo. was... I think it's It's Hannah going Beshi's down hair. for real. Yeah, she had the boot, a disco ball, and a dream. Let's just <laughs> put it that way. And a lip sync ability. <laughs> But it's really good, in fairness. Yeah, I, I feel like, like I she part. really stole the musical. Mm -hmm. I feel like her musical performance really saved her, saved her yeah. this week. Up next, we have Matilda. Got what do we think of her musical performance and her runway look? I think she did okay. In mm -hmm. musical, she did the love of walk. The yeah. yung of the hair, the mm -hmm. look, the makeup. She did the makeup. In the runway, naman, it was also good. I love that it's floral because it sticks to what she does out of drag. Mm -hmm. But florist cha. Mm -hmm. So parang may storyline dun na parang yeah it makes sense. That's mm -hmm. why the yung concept niya. I feel like maganda siya without the cape. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I think Matilda did okay mm -hmm. all throughout both uh, runway and mm -hmm. the rusical. Mm -hmm. I think Matilda fell into the trap of selecting a very safe, safe. character knowing what the characters will do. Mm -hmm. There was a moment during the rehearsals that I said, shit, I hope I'm going to get the But so, so technically, she wasn't really paying attention to the yeah. script. <laughs> so, missed opportunity to yeah. really get a character that would let her stand out. Because yeah. that Catriona Sirena character was, it was okay. Um, it was a filler character. It was a filler character. I mean, she made moments with that character. Mm -hmm. She did her best. I feel like this character na to was really set for someone to be in the bottom. Yeah, it's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. And if you're smart enough... You would know. You would know. On the runway look, it was crafty. Um, it looks flat. 
but it looks decent. Um, the least to say. Um, yeah, it, there's nothing special with it. I wish it was a bodysuit with a lot more shoulder kind of moment. Back dress. Yeah, very something bigger. Possible. Something bigger, just to match with the with the boots. Better styling could have been done. Um, better placement of the flowers could have been done. Different choice of hair could have been done. Sadly, it was a downhill mm -hmm. uh, slope for Matilda this episode. Up next on the runway is captivating Kat Kat. What do we think of her rusical performance and her runway look? I think I agree with the judges. Pag dating sa rusical na parang she was stumbling. Um, I don't like the fact na parang she was singing about you know wanting to have feet, but nakikita ko yung feet niya. Yeah. It it took it, away it, the fantasy na parang it, she's a mermaid and she's craving to have yeah. feet. I can see her face. I'm sure she doesn't know the words. I was there. I saw it. She doesn't know the words. What the look, isang ano? Echo serang look. Very verushka levels. Echo sera. <laughs> It's not kadang kadang mo kami mehensis. It's skiing or snowboarding. Tete gil tete gil. Hindi ako tapos nag ano pa? Let it go, let it go. Snow spray. Snow spray. Where where's na kadang kadang? I don't see it. I feel like in the rusical, Kat Kat bit more than she could chew. It's such a big big role, and sa umpisa palang nung rusical as the rusical opens. Dun ako sa tatlong magkiin na yeah. nakatingin, nasa gilid lang siya. And yeah. it just doesn't send me the right message na, oh, siya yung bida. And it's, I think it's a missed opportunity to really use that big of a role to really stand out. Parang hindi siya yung nagsisteer ng kwento. Yeah. Hindi siya yung, hindi... Hindi nag-revolve sa kanya. Hindi nag-revolve sa kanya yung story. Yeah. Gage. Yeah. Our skills and our egos. True. Kung kaya you know, mo ba? Kung kaya mo ba? Hindi, but, but it's a competition, <laughs> so I understand why she got this role. Yeah. And sadly, it didn't work for her. Mm -hmm. um, runway look, not really a fan of. Um, I mean, I get the concept. But yeah, sayang. I think um, all of the big claims for this episode for Captivating Kat Kat really didn't, didn't translate. Next, we have Ovi Kant. Yeah, it is. I think Ovi Kant set the tone <clears throat> ng bonga. Kasi ang ganda nung pasok niya. Mm -hmm. And then the role is perfect for her. The character is very Ovi, anima animated mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. um, also... And it sounds like her. So parang talagang I really like Ovi's character. I think she did well with the, with the Rusical. And then also when it comes to the runway, I like the look. I mean, I like the shoes because the shoes could be the moment, right? But overall, I think it was pretty okay. I love that the, the shoes is custom. So since it's not a bit of 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 a bit a pretty, pretty good job mm -hmm. um, in conveying the character. And kahit na parang bookends lang yung performance niya, she made sure na matatandaan siya. We understand her character, um, and it resonates with something that we've seen from the past. I wish the chan was a little bit smoother, because I can see the blocks of foam. foam, and it just takes away the illusion for me. Yeah, yeah those little details, I think, could have elevated it even, mm -hmm. even further. For the runway look, I love the shoes. Overall, I think it's a safe look. Mm -hmm. um, it's so hard to convey nude on the main stage. Aside from the leather fringes, sana meron din yung rope, may barrel, cowboy hat. Could have been complete. Um, could have been complete. Um, the hair could have been a darker color. Yeah, I feel like those elements could have really just elevated the look even further, but the look is good already on mm -hmm. its own, and I think it's a very, very strong night for mm -hmm. Ovi Khan. Last but not least on the runway tonight is Hannah Beshi from CDO. With Hannah Beshi, I, I like her role. Kung ako nandun, I would pick that. Kasi for me, fun yung, yung role niya, mas better than the other roles. Mm -hmm. um, pagdating naman sa runway, I like the idea na gumawa siya ng concept na hindi natin may isa. Mm -hmm. It was something that I wouldn't think of. Yeah. Eh. 
parang syempre nakilala natin si Undine, nasa ulo lang. Yep. So, pinakita niya yung buong body ni Undine with the shoes. Yes. So, I love that idea. Ayun. Um, for me, in the Rusical, I think Hannah Beshi is one of the standouts. Mm -hmm. um, grabe yung opening ng, ng lip-syncing niya, ng presence niya. Really sets the tone for the family, the family. For the family of Serena. I think she has a really, really great stage presence. She looks like she sounds mm -hmm. like the voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. The voice from the Rusical, the yes. bus. So I really love that aspect. Her hair in the Rusical could have used a little bit more brushing and sissing because it doesn't look like it's underwater. <laughs> <laughs> that wig is thirsty. I think we should show the girls how to wear red wigs this episode. When it comes to her runway, naman, I think uh, the concept was very clear. Um, could have used a different hair for that? Because I've seen that hair once or twice. The material of the bodysuit makes the look really, really cheap. Sana ano na lang siya parang spandex na hand painted. Yeah. Made it more drag. But overall, I, I think yeah. she has a really, really strong performance she still this episode. stood out to me. Okay, so after all the rusical and the runway shenanigans, Mama Power revealed that Arizona Brandy and Hannah Beshi are both safe and back in on top. Arizona feels some type of way with the results. She feels like she should have been in the top. What do you think about that? For me, no. Mm, no. I think if Meron should be on the top, for me, it could have been Hannah Beshi. Bernie! OV and Kat Kat are all safe. I think Kat Kat should be in the bottom three. Runway and musical wise, I think she deserves to be in, mm -hmm. to have the placement that's not the bottom. I would have put any of the two girls, Kat Kat or Bernie, in the bottom three. Mm -hmm. Didi Marie Holiday wins the musical with a badge and 80,000 pesos. What do we think of the result? She wins the Rusical. She won the Rusical fair and square, but that runway mama, she could use some of that cash to replace the whole look. <laughs> Who do you think should have won this episode? For me overall, it could have been Ovi or Hannah mm -hmm. Beshi. I would give props to Didi for doing really good yeah. at the Rusical, but with the runway, <clears throat> with that yeah. shoes, no. Yeah, I think Didi really did a good job in salvaging that Brusical OV had a strong night tonight. Yeah. Hannah Beshi as well, mm -hmm. if the bodysuit was not ill fitting. Congratulations, Didi Marie Holiday. Begin a Ruba Chian. And sadly, we see Miss Jade So and Matilda in the bottom two. Who do you think should have been in the bottom two? I think it should be Kat Kat. So for you, it should have been Kat Kat and. Kat Kat and Madilda. Um, I kind of agree with the results. I kind of understand why they put Matilda and Miss Jade yes. So in the bottom. Matilda, I don't think, has enough storyline to okay. really push her. Yeah. And the lip sync this week is our favorite. Yeah. Every gay's favorite. It's gusto ko nang Ang taas, girl. What do you think of the lip sync? I think the moment when Jade uh, put the blood, mm -hmm. na, okay na, yeah. tapos na. <laughs> yeah. Pero it was sad. Sobrang dun yung moment na parang for Matilda talagang umiyak talaga siya. Yeah. Um. I mean. Oh my God. Uh, for girls watch. who are lip syncing for their lives in the future, not that I'm an expert with lip sync <laughs> for your life, because I haven't done it ever. Thank you. I've um, done it once. <laughs> and you lost. Yeah, once lang. Uh, <laughs> At least once lang ako nag uh, for my life. <laughs> uh, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, so ako sa second place. <laughs> second place kasi is <laughs> um, um, I think it's okay to sh really show your emotions. True. Diba? It's okay to really... Huguta mo yung song. Huguta mo yung song. But you always have to remember that you're performing still. Yeah. Find your light, find your camera, Find your audience, make eye connection, and don't just stand there and cry. 
Yeah. You know? And I think that's the edge um, ni Miss Jade so in this lip sync. She commanded the stage. Stood her ground. She had her highs and lows mm -hmm. and she just didn't did this and did this. I like crying. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had a hard time seeing the lip sync because first of all, the song was yeah. emotional. Bumitaw then it was Miss Jade. Huh? Bumitaw. Bumitaw na. Bumitaw. <gasps> After that lip sync, Miss Jade So gets to live another day in the competition. And sadly, we have to say sashay away to mm -hmm. our multimedia diva, Matilda. For me, Matilda's strong enough to process the whole thing, especially because parang after the viewing, after last week, yun ng yare, parang di ba um, tiyatago niya yung drag niya. Mm -hmm. Now that it's open and she was embraced by her family, I feel like she's mas all... buo na siya yes. now. Congratulations, Matilda, for a very very good run at Drag Race Philippines season two. We will definitely miss you in our street. And speaking of deserve, <laughs> thank you so much because we really, really deserve this time with you. Where can we find you? Saan ka namin makikita? Social media, do you have shows? Do you have yes. anything to promote? Uh, you can follow me on my social media platforms at Prince Morel. And also, um, I, have a, I have a few shows coming up sa US. International! Um, International! <laughs> talk about pork chat oh yes my podcast the pork chat is available on spotify and also the video version is on my youtube channel at Prince Maru Rao. multimedia who are you wearing oh yes this is aaron montoya mm -hmm. and then Ooh, i made this and then the shoes and this uh -huh. hair is by weeks by margo Stoned by me. Um, I would also like to thank Aaron Montoya for this gorgeous, Ooh. gorgeous gown. And of course, Lift Aesthetics Clinic. Yes, and for my beautiful face. And Susana Dental Clinic. Ding. Before I let you go, alam ko excited ka rin sa mga pasalubong Ooh. na dadalhin mo papapapunta ang US. Oh, bibigyan ko sa mga kamag-ara ko doon. Correct. <laughs> pang familia. Pang sports. sports pa. Pa. Well, that's it for us. So let's go. Shall we let's pick go. your pasalubong? Well, in true Filipino fashion, a stopover wouldn't be complete without pasalubong. So Prince, take it away. Perfect. Perfect. Wait, ano yung brand? Makikita. Ayan. Wait, nasan yung phone ko? Nasan yung phone ko? Uh, bakit? Hindi kasi na-screenshot ako last episode. So, Ay, ano sorry na? po. Ba na, dating na, hinahanap ko to. Ano na to? Ito, ano yan? Parang nakabote na yan. Kailangan suka? ko yan. Ayan. Ayun, parang suka. Parang nakuha na siya. Ayan, may suka. Ay. Okay. Ayan! Saka <laughs> ito. screenshot pa siya. From... Saka ito. Ano to? Yung parang peanut keme. Ay, ayan. Ayan. Pili yan. tart. Pili tart. Mahilig ako sa tart. Oo. Uh -oh. Kaya tawagan namin ang jowa ko eh. Tart. Tart. Ay! Ay! Ay, may lang bago. <laughs> Saka yung peanut kisses. Oh Kinet? my god. Doka, doka. Sa kabila. Ayan. <laughs> parang, <laughs> parang, <laughs> parang, si, parang si, ganun yung si pagkitutusan mo na sabay-sabay. <laughs> Ganyan ang mga Philippines, o oh, diba? On brand. Guyabano. <laughs> Ito, Banana. Kasi I love kisses. Ito, pork isaw. Magdala ka ng pork isaw. Kasi pork chop ka. Sa kabagay sa akin, doon pa may pain na red. Mm. Ay, ayoko nga. Perfect. Yung brand, doon ko mapakita na. Bakit passport? Kunin ko pa to, kasi masarap siya to. Oo, yes. oh, oh. kunin mo yan. Sige. Ay, pakicompute na lang. Ay, dito Paul. yung counter. Wala ka self-checkout dito? Ano ba yan? Wala. <laughs> Well, that's it for us at your favorite quick stop on the way to the... Bakit? Parang maganda to see. So, ilang habol ko lang to. Padagdag po. Salamat po. Habol pa. Hindi pala konsensya. Well, that's it for us at your favorite quick stop on the way to the crown. I'm your Filipina diva, Marina Summers, and this is The Stopover. Don't wanna hold Yeah.